Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here with me and Winston. We are currently sitting in the Starbucks drive through because we are headed north today to Williams. I wanted to get on the road a little bit early, so um, we left the house around 9.15, and I already know it's going to be a super great week. It's a great Monday, so I'm getting my Starbucks, and um, we have about two and a half hours of a drive until we meet up with Maddie, and then we will drive together to Williams to find a new campsite. So like this video, subscribe to my channel. Winston's enjoying his cooling blanket, and let's get into it. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you, honey? Good. What are you getting? Um, I would like a venti mango dragon fruit refresher. Okay. A small cup of ice water. Okay. And the bacon gouda and egg sandwich, please. Okay. Anything else? Nope. That's it. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. Williams is only about 35 minutes from Flagstaff when you are heading west on the I-10. So although Williams has grocery stores and food and some attractions and I don't know, pretty much everything you need, if you do decide you want to go to Flagstaff, it's a straight shot there, very easy drive, scenic, beautiful. I didn't encounter any problems, but I do look forward to seeing what Williams has to offer. We found the best spot, oh my gosh. And the scenery is just a little bit different from where we were at. And there are cows right close by. As you can hear, it's super windy. But guess who's not complaining? Me, because I just left 105 degree heat. So it's 75 and windy, which is fine. And we just pulled up, so Maddie is getting parked. I decided to park under the shade of this tree. I should have shade most of the day. And here's my Yeti, my trusty Yeti, treating myself to some Crown Royal because it's my three year van life anniversary. So I was just making sure that Winston was getting settled. He's been in the van for about three and a half hours. Oh man, yeah, this will this will be a great spot. I read a little further into the spot. There's a ton of big rigs, but the further you go back, the more difficult it is to traverse the roads. So there are like, are no big rigs back here, which is awesome. I am hungry. So before I do anything else, even though uh, I just kind of threw things all over, I'm going to make some rice and chicken for lunch. I got this cute little folding table at Target for $5. I have a thing for getting folding tables at Target for $5. <laughs> so I'm going to get something to eat before uh, I finish up because yeah, my tummy's growling and I need energy. So what I'm doing for my lunch first is boiling my water, which it's done, and then I will pour it into my rice of rice of rice aroni <laughs> and I cut up some chicken so now I will heat that up just in my little pan a little bit of salt and pepper brown it mix it with the rice and it'll be a good meal just kidding I moved my spot <laughs> this spot actually has a little bit more shade and believe it or not the cell service was a little bit better so this is exactly why I don't unpack everything for about a day or so when I get to a new camp. But this will work out great. I have shade most of the day. And then we have the Vever tent set up between us. I popped a beer and we're ready to hang out. All right, y'all, so here's the scoop. Um, we are up in Williams. The cell service is not great. It's like sometimes good, but mostly mediocre. So I don't know if I'll be able to get a daily video up while we're up here. I definitely can't go live. So that kind of sucks. I wanted to go live today for my three year van anniversary, but, um, super windy, but beautiful out. Maddie and I found this gorgeous spot that I'm very happy with. So as long as he's good with the cell service and I can at least do some stuff on uh, my phone and my tablet, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So 
Right now, the front of my van is a mess. And have you guys seen these new Dollar Tree bags? They're like reusable. Pretty nice. I will be using my new heat shield window covers for the first time tonight. These ones, I need to put my other one up. And I got a bunch of new decor from my Auntie Becky. So in the next couple of days, I will be putting up my new things. She sent me these uh, faux hanging succulents. She sent me a towel. She sent me stickers and crystals. So I will be doing that. Um, it'll give me a little project. I also got from the dollar store some red, white, and blue flowers for Independence Day coming up. So I'll be doing something with those. I have my Yeti cooler. Um, this thing is a beast, so I'm getting used to uh, using the cooler again, so I have that going for me, and I have some things I need to organize, but today I'm just kind of chilling because, you know, we drove for three hours today, Maddie and I wanted to get set up at a spot, so, and I don't like to get everything done in like one day, I like to have stuff to do over the coming day, so that's why I like, I gathered my decorations, so that's a project. Um, I will need to reorganize my cooler a little bit. That'll be another project. So I had plenty to do, which is good. Uh, I did talk to Set Power. They are sending me the new fridge, so I'll get that probably next week. But in the meantime, I figured with my Yeti cooler, it's like challenge accepted. <laughs> challenge accepted. Um... I had a rough week last week with all of the issues getting my van uh, into the Dodge dealership and that entire fiasco and then my fridge breaking. But I look at all of this, all of these things as challenges that I can overcome and then learn a lesson from them, right? So even though I was really stressed out last week, um, I've worked through that and now I'm grateful that I have resources and other options and the ability to overcome these challenges so I can learn and grow. And that's that. And there are cows. And I really like cows. We are approaching the evening. It's gorgeous out right now, about 72. Maddie and I sat in the tent for a little bit to catch up. I made a bed in there for Winston that he enjoys. Winston's right over there just going potty, doing his things before we get into the van for the night. Ooh, I almost <laughs> fell into a hole there. But, um, yeah, really, really nice spot. It's going to be windy the next few days, but, again, I'm, I'm not complaining. I have so much to be grateful for. I'm happy to be out of the heat. The views of these small hills are just glorious. Tomorrow I have quite a bit of tinkering to do, so I look forward to that. Maddie also has some tinkering on his agenda. In the meantime, Winston's just digging. and We are enjoying the <laughs> lack of traffic around our campsite because we, for the most part, were by ourselves. There's a rig across the road a little bit, but other than that, mostly solitude. I already brought my female influence into Maddie's tent. This is the bed that I set up for Winston. He has his toys. There he is over there. But yeah, you can check out uh, this tent on Maddie's channel, Maddie Van Halen. He does a review of it. It is from Vever. We've had 22 mile per hour winds today and so far it's holding up. So that's good news. My son decided to grace us with his presence. Hey, TT, can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi? Hey, over here to the camera up here. No, where, where are you going? No, nobody's, <laughs> no, no one's here. I just, for the camera. Can, no, over here, where, over here though. I just, everyone on YouTube. No, nobody's here just for YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, Bubba, I didn't mean to get you all worked up. No, there's nobody here. I was just seeing if you could say hi to... Okay. Okay, bye. 
One benefit to using the Yeti as opposed to a fridge is since it's going to drop, you know, to about 50, 50, 55 degrees tonight, I could actually take it out of my van, just put it in the shade and it would stay nice and cool. Uh, you can't really do that with a fridge, right? So, um, so that's a really nice option of, um, or with the Yeti. But the van is in decent shape. Um, like I said, I had I have tinkering to do tomorrow. What do you think, kid? So this entire campsite that I've been showing you throughout this video was absolutely beautiful. But we ended up having to leave because Maddie and I determined yesterday evening that the cell service was so bad that it just it wasn't doable. It wasn't doable. So um, you know, couldn't even really get on the internet at all whatsoever. And that does, it just doesn't work for, for either of us. So this morning we moved spots, came to a different location that has better cell service, a little closer to Flagstaff. And, um, it's awesome. It's really, really awesome. So, you know, I had a great day yesterday, despite the cell service. Um, you know, I was like, it is what it is. Maddie and I decided together that we needed to move. And that's one of the great things about having a travel companion that you vibe and connect with. Um, it's because you can have those conversations and be honest when a spot is not going to work out for you. So we headed out, chose a new location this morning, and we are getting settled in. So I look forward to sharing that with you. And, um, you know, van life is all about challenges and adventure and overcoming obstacles <laughs> when they get in the way, but it all works out in the end. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.